Welcome to a DraftWorks quick vid on the new journal entry screen in DraftWorks Cloud. For those of you coming from DraftWorks Desktop, this screen is going to look very uh, familiar. For those of you that started on DraftWorks Cloud, it's going to be quite a bit of a departure from what we call now the legacy journal entries, which was this grid. But we're going to show you what the amazing improvements are with the new journal entry screen and just the all around functionality. Okay, so the journal entry screen, it's the exact same grid that is in the working trial balance and, and throughout DraftWorks, where you can create an entry using the green row and of course filter out using the orange row. So how do we create a new entry in the new DraftWorks journal entry screen? Well, very simply, we're going to first select the journal type. So we have an amount of different journals. Normal adjusting is your go-to adjustment journal to fix a balance that's going through to final. Drafting, aka reclassifying, is something that you're going to pass to change a figure for drafting. It's not necessarily something that's wrong. And of course, the drafting journal is generally something that doesn't go back to your accounting systems. Then for overs and unders, uh, audit related and not recorded, you can at any point in time switch your journal to not recorded to take it out of the trial balance. And then of course, your financials will update. Then a standing journal is a journal that rolls forward. So if we are raising a journal entry this year, and we want that journal entry to automatically go through to next year mark it as a standing journal mm -hmm. um, and in that case whenever we have a light of say raising depreciation year on year for our clients or having a standing retained income correction rolling forward every single year well mark it as a standing journal then you don't have to raise it the next year the ideal use for standing journal is of course in your consolidations where you are eliminating the shared capital uh, each year Raise it as a standing journal. When you roll forward, that journal is going to go forward. It's going to save you so much time. I believe in a consolidation item that generally takes up the most time are the journal entries and getting the structure, even copying the structure from last year when it comes to the likes of intercompany eliminations um, or, or, or offsetting of loans, etc. That's all items that are repeated each and every year. So at least get the structure through, you can always just change the balance in year two. And then of course, if you are using the interim and the budget uh, columns, then you can affect a, a change against that. Okay, but nine times out of 10, normal adjusting journal. Description and narration, what is the journal about? So let's go and say a uh, correction of um, account, okay. Can pop in a reference, that's generally going to be a reference to a working paper and we need that reference for sync to push back the uh, adjusting journal into the accounting system okay so let's go and have a look at now what happens when we've created that entry so entries are created on the left hand side the contents of those journals are going to be on the right okay it allows you then for ease of filtering and a quick nice overview of all the journals that you have passed and quick access to get to the journal that you want to access and modify uh, or change etc okay so when i've created my new uh, adjusting journal i'll then go to the right hand side and i can now drop down select my account from the drop down or use the IntelliSense to type out the account number that I'm looking for, or I can just go and click on the little select account button, like we do if we're changing a link number, and that will pop open my entire TB, which makes life a little bit easier when we are trying to search for entries in a big trial button. So use that filter bar, search, find the entry, and then pop it in. Okay, we'll see it'll pull in the account, the link number. Okay, this is ideal when you're as you say raising tax and you might have taxation uh, two taxation accounts one's linked to balance sheet one's linked to income statement you can of course see which one you should be crediting and debiting based on the actual link info okay and then for the amount we're going to pop in the amount positive for debit and when we go and we have a look um, at our credit let's just pop it to cost of sales it'll be a minus for the credit and that's my journal posted okay go back to my working trial balance and i'll see all the changes and then if i want to do another one of course i can load a new journal 
and that will start to add in all of the journals and of course this is now accessible i can go in and i can select the accounts that this journal is going to affect go back to that journal and we'll see this journal is still here okay go back to my working trial balance everything is going to update automatically and then of course my financial statements are going to update as well now what other nice key features are available in journal entries well, if we look at the ribbon bar, you can see that I can go and I can access my prior year entries, which none were raised. But the nice thing with, with, with DraftWorks is the ability to copy or move journals between years. So if I am doing two years in once, or for instance, if there was a journal in my prior year that I didn't mark as a standing, but I'd like to use it now in my current year, I can choose to copy that journal to the following tax year. Or I could have just simply gone and processed a journal in the incorrect period. I can then choose to move that entire journal to the prior year or to the following tax year. And that will do it all for me. Okay. So simple, so easy, so powerful. We love the new journal entry screen and we hope you do too. Please, as always, let us have any feedback absolute pleasure um, to take you through anything and of course improve the system for you that's what it's all about at the end of the day so let us know how we can be better okay hope you enjoy the rest of your day thank you for your time bye-bye